Hello and welcome to the National School Game Show 2012, the only local sport show that brings you the latest and the greatest sporting action in the local school sports scene. My name is Aloysius Emmanuel. And I'm Fiza. We're your hosts for this show, keeping you updated on how your school, friends and even classmates are doing in the many sports disciplines featured in the National School Games or sometimes fondly known as DNSG. And if this is the very first time you're joining us, that's great. Do tell your friends, schoolmates, parents and even grandparents about the show. Who knows, they may be catching you live in action. Oh, and don't forget about all the fun that we'll have at your expense, Aloysius. I'm sure everyone remembers your so-called gymnastic move from last week. You still don't believe I'm that flexible, do you? <laughs> Let's not get into that. Oh, and don't forget about our contest. Every week we'll be giving away $300 worth of prizes to seven possible winners. And make sure you don't miss a chance. So, we'll be giving you the details a little later. Well, Fiza, we had a fantastic week of sporting action and we'll be bringing you all the highlights, interviews from your schoolmates and friends from the various games. So what's highlight number one for this week? Well, all eyes were on Bukit Merah Secondary School at the B Division Floorball Finals. The school had booked their spots in both the B Division Girls and Boys Tournament and looked likely to repeat their double victory in 2010. But in their way were defending champions of the Girls Division, Take Y Secondary and the boys from Victoria School who were hungry for the title after being placed second three years consecutively. So let's head down to the Yochukang Sports and Recreation Centre as we bring you the highlights from both games. A sea of blue watched over the final between defending champions Take Y Secondary School and Bukit Mira Secondary School in the B Division Girls. It was Take Y who took the first initiative in the match. They scored first to take the lead early in the game. But the girls from Bukit Mira Secondary School came back strong in the game. They matched Take Y goal for goal and even took the lead at one point. But last year's winners Take Y Secondary School showed their talent and depth in the closing stages. They scored once again to level the scoreline at 5 all, sending the crowd into a frenzy while forcing the match into a shootout. The shootout was a nail-biter. Three shots per team would decide the winner of this year's floorball B Division girls. And Take Y's missed chances cost them dearly in the shootout as Bukit Mira put away their final penalty to win the match 2-1 on penalties. I think my team did well because we were down two goals first. Then it was I was very proud that my team, uh, my team player Tiffany, uh, scored uh, another three goals to bring our team spirit up. Yeah, I think it's because. Um, we really want it badly and and they all believe in themselves and the team also like um and they really show they re they showed the never say die attitude till the last second and played their heart out yeah in the boys final victoria school went down two nil at first to their opponents bukit mira secondary school but started to mount a comeback in the second period the boys of Victoria School continued to pile on the pressure as they showed their hunger to win this year's championship. They scored again to level the scoreline. The Victorians started to pull away in the third period as they scored once again to make the score 5-3. Bukit Mira Secondary School's boys tried their level best to get back into the game, but they were unlucky as they missed their chances despite coming close on a couple of occasions. Victoria School then took the chance to score again the VS boys gave themselves a three-goal cushion as their goal brought the score to 6-3. The Victorians clinched the match with that scoreline. The schoolmates from the stands joined in the celebration as the students cheered for the victory which came after Victoria's fourth consecutive finals appearance. Uh, I think we played uh, really well because uh, going 2 0 down and to come back to get a win in the Pukit Mara is uh, not easy. And also, the school who sent the whole Secretary Court down to support us. I think we really need to thank them because uh, when we were going 2 0 down and then uh, we hear them spurring us on, we get motivated and determined to win the game. We don't want to uh, let them down also. Uh, it's been uh, quite emotional because this is my last match for VS because I'm uh, sacked for this year. And then uh, it's also our first belief title uh, from four years, four consecutive finals, and finally we win it this year. So it's a day to remember. 
What a thrilling match for the girls. It went all the way down to the wire. What a great win for Bukit Merah Secondary School. Congratulations to the boys from Victoria School for winning their first floorball title after four years. Okay, Fiza, let's continue our coverage of the A Division National Inter-School Table Tennis Championships 2012, where six teams each from the boys and girls divisions will be battling out in the second round, trying to book a place at this year's semi-finals. Who booked their place in the next round? Who fell just short? I'm sure everyone can wait for the results. We'll find out right now. The second round of the Inter-School Table Tennis Championship pitted six of the best A-Division teams against each other in both the girls' and boys' category. Four semi-final places were on the line and some of the top teams battled each other as well. Raffles Institution and Hua Chong Institution faced each other. Defending champions HCI were able to beat their opponents 4 to 1. In the boys' division, Raffles Institution and National Junior College faced off in a rematch of last year's final. While RI was on top form since the start of this year's competition, doubts were cast on NGC's future as they had to win this match to progress to the next round. But RI was just too strong as they swept the contest 5-0. And after round two of competition, Hua Chong Institution, Raffles Institution, Tamasic Junior College and Nanyang JC made it to the semi-finals of the A Division Girls Tournament. And for the A Division Boys, RI, River Valley High, Nanyang JC and Hua Chong Institution booked their places in the last four. Good luck to all of them. It's going to be a battle royale to see who makes it to the final. Well, up next, we have highlights from the golf team finals. This year, it's the 11th edition of the National Inter-School Golf Championships, and both the A Division and B Division teams will be represented by two players. Let's head down to the golf course to see who played the perfect putt to take the championship. The 11th National Inter-School Golf Championship was held at the Marina Bay Golf Course this year. The golfers got off to a good start in the team events. In the A Division, there were a mixture of emotions on the course as some golfers putted their way to success, ending the game on a high, yet some were left disappointed as they failed to find their game. The tricky course posed challenges to the A-Division girls, but the top players seemed to have no problems overcoming them. The B-Division boys took to the course as well. The level of play in this division was high as the top players challenged each other with strong drives and perfect putts. The B Division girls were no different as the top players from the Singapore Sports School, Raffles Girls School and Methodist Girls School competed intensely. It was a tough contest as the golfers competed in pairs in the team event to find out which school would take home the title. And here are the results from this year's championship. The individual golf titles have also been settled for this year's competition. I really wonder how these golfers travel across the whole golf course and still play with style. Gosh, I'm so tired after watching them play. I think you need a break, Aloy, and so do our viewers at home. But stay tuned, cause coming up... Catch the grab for championship titles in the Volleyball B Division Boys and Girls Finals and see who makes it to the finals of the B Division Girls and Boys Hockey Championship. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the National School Game Show. As promised, we have lots of action coming up. But before that, here are the details of our weekly contest question. That's right, Fiza. We will pose a very simple question to you guys at the end of today's episode. Just answer the questions correctly to this email address with your full name, IC number and contact details and our crew will be getting back to you guys very shortly. Each week, we are giving away $300 worth of vouchers to seven lucky winners. The vouchers have been sponsored by Western Singapore, Singapore's premier football store. So remember, each person is only allowed to answer the question once. Well, up next, we have the finals of the B Division Volleyball for Boys and Girls. Current defending champions and Hilda Secondary were up against Suchun Secondary School, who were very determined to cause an upset and claim their first ever Boys B Division Volleyball title. On the girls' side, it was a face-off between Anderson Secondary School and Presbyterian High. We've got the highlights of both matches. The Topayo Sports Hall was packed for the Volleyball B Division Finals. 
The girls from Presbyterian High were up against the girls from Anderson Secondary School and it was Presbyterian High that took the first initiative. They controlled much of the opening exchanges and their spikes worked to perfection as they took the first set. But Anderson Secondary worked hard to come back in the second set. Their aggressive play forced the girls from Presbyterian to commit costly errors. Anderson Secondary took advantage of the errors and took the second set to level the score at one set apiece. But with their supporters behind them, Presbyterian High went into the third set determined. They took the third set to lead two sets to one. The fourth set was highly contested as Anderson knew they had to win it to stay in the game. But Presbyterian High was relentless in their attacks as they knew they were close to victory. They came back in the fourth set. Anderson's mistakes allowed Presbyterian to set up match points. Presbyterian High went on to clinch the match point and seal the deal as they won the match three sets to one. The title was Presbyterian High's first girls volleyball title since 2008. The boys took the court next as St Hilda's faced Shu Chun secondary. As the match started, it was Shu Chun that took the lead in the first set. But St Hilda's secondary showed the class of champions as they fought back hard. But Shu Chun would not be denied as they stopped St Hilda's revival in the first set. Shu Chun took the first set 25 to 23. Shu Chun's dominance continued in the second set. They forced the defending champions onto the back foot as they piled on the pressure. But St Hilda's was not done just yet. They came back in the next set to give themselves a fighting chance in the game. The game went back and forth in sets number 4 and 5. St Hilda's pulled the game level by winning the fourth set. That set up a thrilling fifth set. But Shu Chun got the better of the exchanges in the last set. They set up match point and went for the win in a thrilling rally. In the end, they clinched match point to defeat five-time defending champion St Hilda's Secondary School. The win also gave Shu Chun Secondary School their first ever B Division Volleyball Boys title. Today they played very well. I'm happy of uh, what they have performed. What do you think of your um, opponent's overall performance? Uh, they are very strong and they put out a good fight. So it's a well-deserved win. I wait for 18 years, so the feeling is totally different. Uh, it's the same cause, it's the first time yeah, in history making. That was a great victory for Shu Chun Secondary Boys who upset St Hilda's to run away with the title. And Presbyterian High Girls have been nowhere near the top four in the last few years to come and surprise us all in 2012 to take the B Division Championship. Well, we wish both schools all the best in their title defence in next year's competition. Alright, let's pick up the pace and move to the B Division Girls Hockey Semi-Final. We saw four strong teams against each other. In the first match, defending champions Take West Secondary School faced off against Sing Kang Secondary School. And in the second match, it was last year's runner-up Crescent Girls against CHIJ St. Teresa's Convent. Will this year's final turn out to be a repeat of last year's final? Let's find out. Take West Secondary and Sing Kang Secondary prepared to do battle in the first match of the B Division Girls Hockey Semi-Finals. The match was pitted to be an exciting encounter. But it soon turned out to be a defensive battle as the Take Y defense showed itself to be rock solid. The girls from Take Y Secondary School tried to go on the offensive for much of the match, but they could not put away their chances as the stubborn Sengkang defense kept getting in the way of their forwards. The Sengkang girls also had their chances but were unable to convert as the match remained deadlocked and was forced into extra time. In extra time, the Take Y girls asserted themselves early. They put away the golden goal as they clinched the match with a scoreline of 1-0, booking their place in the B Division girls final.
Finals, we did it for our, our teammate because mom passed away uh, last month. So because she promised her mom to, to enter the finals and her mom really wanted her to be in the final, but eventually things happened. The second match in the semi-finals was between Crescent Girls Secondary and CHIJ St. Teresa's Convent. It was last year's runners-up Crescent that got the perfect start to the contest. They took the lead within minutes of the start of the match, showing their dominance over the girls from CHIJ St. Teresa's Convent. Despite St. Teresa's trying to come back with good play in midfield, the Crescent girls seemed to get the better of them. The girls from Crescent were in full control as they restricted St. Teresa's scoring chances and created more attacking options for themselves. But St. Teresa's Convent did get the occasional chances through set plays. They earned a couple of penalty corners during the match as they pushed for an equaliser in the game. But they wasted their chances with the first hitting the keeper and the second going just wide. The St. Teresa's girls were running out of options to get themselves back into the game. The match ended 2-1 in favour of Crescent Girls Secondary. Now for the boys, we were assured of new champions this year as St. Andrews Secondary School took on Jurong West in the first semi-final. While in the second semi-final, St. Kang Secondary School took on Northland Secondary to see who would have a chance to make it to this year's final. Let's head down to the St. Kang Hockey Stadium for the match highlights. The B Division Hockey Semi-Finals first match was between St. Andrews and Jurong West Secondary. The Saints had a chance to lead early but failed to capitalise. That failed chance was one of the few chances in the first half which turned out to be little more than a midfield battle. Both teams went into half-time deadlocked. The Saints came into the second half strong, but they failed to convert their first penalty corner. But it wasn't long before the deadlock was broken. The boys from St Andrews earned themselves another penalty corner. They executed it to perfection as they scored the first goal of the match, sending their fans into a frenzy. Despite going one nail down, the boys from Jurong West Secondary School were not faced. They planned their comeback and scored from open play. Their equaliser pulled the score level to one apiece, setting an exciting pace to the rest of the second half. The Saints were not daunted by the equaliser, instead they continued their attacks. Their efforts paid off as they scored again to take the lead for the second time in the match. This time, they refused to lose their lead. The boys from St Andrews cut through their opponent's defence to score another goal to give themselves a two-goal cushion. The scoreline read 3-1. Despite Jurong West's attempts to mount a second comeback, it was too little too late as the Saints clinched the victory in this match. With that, they booked their place in the final. team was the same team that uh, won the CDF uh, title so we grew up together and then uh, we developed together so it's the same team so we, were, um, we really had a goal in mind so we wanted to win the champions just like um, the last two years so we, we, we came in with all our determination to win. The second match saw Sengkang Secondary dominate from the start as they took an early lead in their match against Northland Secondary School. The Sengkang boys proved their skill in dead ball situations as they scored again from a penalty corner to double their lead. But that was not enough for the favourites. The boys from Sengkang planned to push further. They scored again with ease as they pushed the scoreline to 3 0, ending the first half on a high. Sengkang continued their dominance in the second half as they broke through the Northland defence to score their fourth goal of the day. The team from Northland simply had no reply. The match ended 4-0. Sengkang will now meet St Andrews in the B Division final. We have to play our own game plan. We don't have to play at our tempo. We have to play our own tempo. So if we do that, uh, no one can stop us. Well, congratulations to all the teams that have progressed to the finals of this year's competition. I, for one, am looking forward to watching the top teams play against each other. I think both finals are going to be intense. I'm interested in the boys' final. It's their first time facing off each other this year. Who do you think is going to win, Aloy? 
Well, Fiza, the current St. Andrews team is surely the one to watch because it is the same squad which captured the C Division title two years in a row. But Sengkang Secondary is very strong this year as well and have been considered favourites in this tournament since the start. So if anything, I believe it's going to be a close call. Well, Fiza, I need a short break to digest all that information. So shall we go for a short break? Welcome back, and if you have just joined us, it's time for us to give you this week's contest question. The question is, which team won the B Division Boys Floorball Final? Which team won the B Division Boys Floorball Final? Remember, just email your answers to this address with your full name, IC number and contact number. The first seven entries with the correct answer will have a chance to win. Our sponsors are Western Singapore, Singapore's premier football store. In our next story, we will look at our National Inter-School Track and Field Championships. Speed and power were on display and there were some long-standing records which were broken. Let's head down to the track to see how our athletes performed this year. The 53rd National Inter-School Track and Field Championships 2012 got off to a great start at the Chochukong Stadium this year as runners geared up for competition. Despite the rain wetting the track, the female runners were out in full force to win honour and glory for their schools. Runners from the A, B and C divisions competed in middle distance and long distance finals. While some victories were outright, there were some exciting close finishes as well. But the friendship between competitors couldn't be doubted, as rivals on the track proved to be friends off it. The boys from the various divisions were also racing in long and middle distance finals. And yet again, despite the rain, the level of competition was high. Several records were broken throughout the many days of competition, but the weather did trouble some runners as they had to be careful of slips and falls. Yet most runners threw caution to the wind as they ran their hearts out. For many, their preparations and trainings had been arduous in the run-up to this championship and there was no room to give anything but their best at this year's race. Uh, my preparation is I usually train about seven times a week. And yeah, because like 800 and 1005 is like a middle distance event. So I got to mix my training up with like some fast sprints and like interval training, that kind of stuff. And I also need to do my long runs, my slow, easy mileage, so that I gain some fitness also. Well, from the number of event records broken, it could be that track and field in Singapore might see a return of its glory days. I'm sure there'll be many more records broken over the competition period. By the way, Aloysius, do you know that Hua Chang Institution is the powerhouse for the sport of judo? Of course. In the recently concluded 46th National Inter-School Judo Individual Championship, Hua Chong's A Division boys and girls team won 8 out of the possible 10 individual weight division categories. They dominated their competition only losing out on the girls and the boys heavyweight category. In fact, they overpowered their competition to such an extent that they forced an all Hua Chong final on more than one occasion at this year's championship. We have now come to the most anticipated segment for this week's show, the B Division Boys Rugby Finals between St Andrews Secondary and Raffles Institution. With the promise of new champions this year, this game was marked as the game to watch for this week. And our very own FISA was there to catch all the action. Let's take a look at what happened at Republic Polytechnic. The stage was set for the final of the B Division Rugby Championship Police Cup. Favourite St Andrews Secondary School faced off against underdogs Raffles Institution. Both teams got ready for the showdown in front of a packed stadium at Republic Polytechnic. And it was St Andrews that seemed to have the upper hand in the early stages of the game. Controlling much of the possession, they dictated the pace of the game despite being unable to score. St Andrews Secondary's domination continued for the rest of the first half, but the boys from Raffles proved to be no pushovers. Their disciplined defence simply refused to let the Saints score at will. It was a truly physical battle as both sides pushed each other to the limit, but the breakthrough finally came as the Saints earned a chance for a conversion. With that, the Saints took the lead just before the break. 
RI came out of the half time wanting to get back into the game. They battled hard to close the deficit. But the Saints were no less hungry. The battle went back and forth as both teams became more aggressive, forcing the referee to dish out a yellow card to a RI player. But St Andrews secondary quickly took control of the action, putting the opponent on the back foot. Yet RI was able to score a try against the run of play. They set up a thrilling finish to the match. Supporters of Raffles now believed that they could possibly cause an upset. But their hopes were dashed as the Saints scored a try. Their supporters cheered aloud as the Saints inched closer to the championship. And as the final whistle blowed, it was the Saints that emerged victorious. I thought we played uh, very well. We, uh, we actually dominated territory and possession for much of the game and uh, we kept raffles in it really. By I think we came out determined. We all wanted to win so we kind of came out firing all cylinders. And um, we kind of played well. Um, kind of pressurised all right in attack and defence and we kind of made the less mistakes. We were more clinical in the attack and I think that's what we won today. It's crazy here. The match has ended and St Andrews won the championship title after two years beating Raffles Institution with a scoreline of 15-7. They're having a great celebration behind me. Alright, so FISA signing off. See you. Well, FISA, it seems you had lots of fun at the rugby finals, eh? Yes, I did, Aloy. It was one exciting match. Congratulations, St. Andrews. You guys deserve the victory. Well, with that, we have come to the end of this week's show. Don't forget to visit our website at this address to comment, like or share our stories with your family and friends. Share the passion. That's right, FISA. And you guys can do the same on our Facebook page and follow us on our Twitter account as well. Hope you had a great time with us. Join us again next week and we will see you in seven days. Bye bye. Take care. What do you mean for me for the rugby finals?